So in this video, we're going to be looking at two simple D3 methods to find the minimum and maximum values from a data set. And now this is particularly useful for when we're specifying a domain and range for creating a scale. So if we have a simple array like this array data set here, and we wanted to find the minimum value, we can just say let min equals and then we can say d3.min and for the min method we just simply pass in the array and if we log this now we can see that it's found the minimum value from this array which is 10 and if we for wanted to find the maximum value we can use d3.max and again pass in the array and if I log this now, it has returned 50, which is the largest value in this array. Now, sometimes we get these nested data sets like this. And let's say that these are a set of coordinates. So this is x, y, x, y, x, and y. And we wanted to find the minimum x coordinate. So for this, we can use an advanced version of the D3 max, sorry, the D3 min method. And as a first argument, once again, we pass in the array. And in this case, we're using the nested data set. And the second argument, we pass in a function that takes in one of these items in the main array. So this will be just be a set of coordinates. So I'm just going to call this set. And we tell it which item in this little array here we need to look at when we're selecting the min. So in this case, that would be the x coordinate, which is the zeroth element. So if there's zero and one, that would be the zeroth element. So we want to return set zero. And if I were to log min x, it's looked through all of these and it's selected 23. Now let's say I wanted to find the maximum y coordinate, so max y, so I call d3.max and it's a similar process again. So I'd say nest a data set. Again, I would create a function where I pass in the set and this time we want to return the y coordinate, which is the in the, at index 1 here, since it's the second item in the array. So we just return set 1. And if I console.log max y, oops, it's returned 84 because it's the largest y value in this array. So what they want us to do here is we have a set of coordinates with x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. And it wants us to set output to the maximum z, which is the third argument here. So we're going to call, for firstly, d3.max. And then the first argument is the array, which is position data. The second argument is a function that takes in one of these sets of coordinates so i'm just going to call it set for now and we wanted to return since we're looking at the z coordinates here we wanted to return this third one here and this is at index two so we'll return set two and as you can see here it's now went through all of these looked at the maximum one of the third item in each array and it's picked out eight and that should be correct now so i'm going to submit that excellent